The Goat House is back with my favorite picks and locks for NFL Week 4. Feeling pretty good about this week. Hoping the, the randomness and the sloppiness are kind of fading away now. Typically what happens in the first three or so weeks. So really excited to break down these picks for you guys today. Let's take a look at them. My favorite spread picks for Week 4. I have two of them. If you want to see spread picks for all 16 games, check out the, the most recent video. The thumbnail looks like that. But I have the Cowboys tonight in New York, minus 5. Thursday night football, Dallas isn't playing so hot recently, and the Giants are starting to pick it up, but this is the game where the Cowboys get going. Following that trend of the Cowboys just dominating the Giants, Dak Prescott having that advantage over the Giants for several games in a row now, and specifically the Giants struggle not just against the Cowboys, but on primetime football in New York for whatever reason, it's a big struggle for them. Now, are they going to get completely blown out like they have been in the past? I, I think it's possible, but I don't think so. But the Cowboys should handle business here, get the offense going. Dak's going to have a big game. CeeDee Lamb's going to have a big game. Watch for them to get Rico Dowdle going. Ferguson more involved. The pass rush will get over after Daniel Jones. The only scare here is that the Cowboys really, really struggle to stop the run. And the Giants could run the football, but at heart, Dayball wants to be a pass-first offense if they get down by any amount. They're not going to be able to run, 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 which you have to do against the Cowboys. So I don't really see that scenario unless the Giants get like a 10-0 lead off the bat and kind of hold it for a little bit. So I like the Cowboys to bounce back and get going in this one. They figured something out at the end of that Ravens game, even though they didn't quite come all the way back and win. I like the Cardinals minus three. That might be bold because a lot of people picking the Commanders after their hot Monday game against a weak Bengals defense. Cardinals are a good team. They're one and two. It's a really good team. They match up very well at home in this game. The Commanders a little beat up after playing a Monday Night Football. Already ruling Austin Eckler out, Cleveland Farrell out. Wonder if Samuel Cosme even plays listed out of practice due to Achilles. So that is tough as well. One of the better offensive linemen. But the for the matchup reasons. Multiple things. The Cardinals lost last week in a close game to the Lions because they couldn't run the ball. The Lions have one of the very best run-stopping defenses in football. The Commanders do not. They're very weak on defense. You can run the ball. James Conner is going to be able to run the ball very well. He'll have a big game. I see him getting in the end zone. We'll talk about touchdown scores. But a big thing here is Kyler Murray's playing very well. Marvin Harrison Jr. picking up. They can throw. Murray can scramble. The Commanders are playing under Dan Quinn. A lot of man coverage and not not the greatest man coverage either that is what Kyler Murray and the Cardinals feast on that's what they love to play against especially a scrambling quarterback that can sling it downfield the matchup says Cardinals all day I think they I think they can win by more than seven points I have them winning by seven I think they can win by more than that love the way they match up on top of the commanders being a little beat up uh, but the commanders can do pretty decent on offense against them I don't really fully expect them to be super consistent and still like a young growing team but those are my favorite spread picks for week four my favorite straight up picks and we have our weekly pick show up on the channel already with a couple other guys with me so if you want different uh takes on these games check out that video it's always a fun time but love the jets over anyone else at home against the broncos Jets are the far better team. Nathaniel Hackett revenge game part two. I think he gets revenge again. Again, The weather might be a little sloppy. I think that favors the Jets as well just because the better team, they can pound the football. And then the matchup factor. The Broncos stepped up last week. Could they continue off that? Yeah, they could continue to play a little better than they did the first two weeks, but they still struggle to stop the run. They kind of took the way, took away the run from the Bucs last week because they got an early lead, and the Bucs, even when they ran, they were explosive runs. They just couldn't do it a ton because they were trying to come back. The Jets aren't going are gonna to allow that big lead, and the Jets will certainly run the football and be very good at it. The Broncos really struggle stopping run, and one of their starting linebackers is out for the year. I think the Jets could have success through the air as well, and they also have a great defense, so I don't think Bo Nix is going to be running around like he did against the Buccaneers. So love the Jets in that one straight up. Like the Chiefs, they're just you know much better than the Chargers, and the Chargers are beat up as well. At quarterback, even though I think Herbert will play, both tackles are banged up. Joey Bosa is banged up, and Derwin James is suspended. So, Chiefs, I would pick the Chiefs to win if the Chargers were fully healthy. Maybe we wouldn't call it a lock, pretty close to it. Uh, but with all those guys, you know, either suspended or banged up, playing or not, uh, I like the Chiefs. And they've been close the last few games. There's some things they can improve on. So, uh, typically they, they usually early in the season, they usually lose one of those games, but they've actually won them. And there's still some things they're going to tweak and get better at. I think Kelsey gets more involved. They'll handle business. The Niners let us down last week. Patriots look more like themselves, like who we thought they were going to be last week. So I think it's a little bit more of that. 
yeah, the Niners are very beat up, but I think Brock Purdy finds a way to win this game. The defense still plays well against that Patriots offensive line. Nick Bosa should have a day. So I think at best, the Patriots keep it close, but lose the game. 49ers should handle business, but the Jets are my favorite ones uh, on that uh, list there. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on while you're here. It'd be much, much appreciated. We got loads of NFL content every single week, so turn those notifications on so you don't miss a damn thing. We got my favorite picks in terms of team totals and over-unders. I like the Bengals over. 26 and a half seems like a lot, but the offense kind of clicked a little bit against the Chiefs, and then it really got rolling against the Commanders. Joe Burrow looking awesome, getting Chase more involved, getting both running backs involved. T. Higgins played, so I against the Panthers defense, they'll be able to do some damage as the Bengals continue to click. They get It's a team that starts slow and gets better and better. Keep in mind, the offense kind of has already gotten going. Also, keep in mind, two things. Panthers, best defensive player, Derek Brown, out for the year. It's kind of been out, but still, that's going to be a factor in a big game like this. And their pass rush is pretty much non-existent. So the only thing kind of slowing Joe Burrow down over the past years is just Pass rush, pass rush in his face because the offensive line's not that great. So the offensive line's a little better these days. And the Panthers, again, pass rush, non-existent. He'll be able to sling the ball as he does to his big-time weapons. I think they'll be able to run the ball as well. So I see them scoring 30-plus in this game. And then my favorite over-under, even though it's pretty set pretty low, Titans and Dolphins under 37 Titans offense has really struggled. They'll turn the ball over probably, and they'll get going on the ground, which will run, will which will drain the clock. And then the Dolphins, because the mess at quarterback, and you know it's a it's a big blow to them losing Tua. Not just because the talent difference. Usually, when you lose your starting quarterback, it's it's a tough blow because the talent difference. You have you have that factor here, but the Dolphins under Mike McDaniel typically like to go tempo, and it is so difficult to do with like with the other other any other quarterback than your starter, like what you're used to. So that also less tempo means less points as well. So I see this game being full of bad offense and pretty decent defense minus the Dolphins' run defense, which will run the clock. Like I said, so should stay under. 37 here and this one could be around a 16 to 10 16 to 13 somewhere around there uh you know final i see i do see some a, a scenario where the titans maybe get a little bit more offense going but i still think if that's the case it, it should just stay under there so that'd be my favorite over under of the week i did like houston versus jacksonville over if i had to pick an over uh, I just hard for me to call it an actual lock, but that one should go over. Here are some great options for a potential parlay or teaser. Not necessarily locks, just great options, and please do not pair all these together. But some of those straight up uh, picks as a parlay, Jets, Niners, Chiefs. I do really like the Cowboys to win on Thursday Night Football. And then some teaser options, six-point teasers. Uh, Jets minus one. They're my favorite lock of all. Again, home field advantage should be able to pound the football. I love their defense as well. Rams plus nine would look pretty good at plus three now, but you know, bump it up to plus nine. That them and the Bears seems like a trap game for the Rams, but it should stay close with the Bears. Ravens. Uh, that you know, Bill's been beating up on teams with the Raven. I have the Ravens winning at home, prime time football again in Baltimore. Totally different matchup for the Bills than what they've been playing. They should be able to pound the football and keep it close. And again, I have them winning. And the Chiefs minus one, kind of like the Jets situation. I like the Jets a little bit more, but that one looks pretty good as well. So some good options for a potential parlay or, twe or teaser, not tweezer, uh, for you guys here. My favorite anytime touchdown picks this year. And we're also tweeting out any of my favorite props, anytime touchdowns, things to pair together. And especially before primetime games, we've been on fire on Twitter with those. So check us out. Links pinned in the comments for anything you're looking for. But uh, my favorite anytime touchdowns at the top, I for sure like Derrick Henry and Brees Hall. Those are my absolute favorites. Uh, Derrick Henry should punch one. He always dominates the Bills, it seems like, and the Bills are much much better versus the pass than the run. The Ravens are going to play their game at home in primetime football. Derrick Henry should punch one in. And then Brees Hall's been a touchdown machine. He, he, could has, he has the opportunity to run one in or uh, catch one as well. The Broncos are uh, weaker uh, in terms of stopping the run. And then CeeDee Lamb, I think, has a monster game, bounce back game, and usually goes off. Him and Dak usually go off against the Giants. Like the way James Conner matches up with the Commanders. They couldn't run the ball against the Lions last week. They'll be able to run the ball against the Commanders, and it's a big part of the Cardinals' offense is to run the ball. So James Conner was on fire until last week, but it's a much, it was a terrible matchup last week, a much better matchup this week. And then some best positive money options for single bets. I like I like this Jackson Smith and Jigba one at plus 250. Yeah, there's a little risk because the Seahawks are playing a good de now a good defense in the Lions and they have other options as well but JSN 
has been getting a lot more targets. Last week, not so much, but they were up by so much right away. That's not going to happen this week. The Lions' defense is a lot better right now, but... They are still struggling big time with slot receivers. We saw that in the first two weeks. The Cardinals don't really have a great option in the slot. JSN's a really good up-and-coming slot receiver. I think he scores. I like that one at plus 250. Uh, Kyler Murray, uh, we talked about it earlier in this video, playing the Commanders. Dan Quinn defense run a lot of man coverage, so that is perfect for scrambling quarterbacks. Get you know, Take your receivers downfield, get the heads turned around so they can't see the quarterback. He takes off, scores a touchdown, so I like him. And then Travis Kelsey, there was a big point that it was he was disappointing. Him and Mahomes' connection disappointing. Comes out in the second half, getting a lot more targets right off the bat. I think it was the first catch as well. And now they're playing the Chargers who do not have Derwin James, who would be a good option to man up on him. So I like Kelsey as well. I don't like it as much as my favorite ones up there. And there's some other obvious ones. Everyone's got Barkley scoring, of course could see that uh, for sure but I like basing off matchup and it's been working out for me this year so those are my favorite options I, my favorite things to bet on are anytime touchdowns I absolutely love it and always talk with you guys on Twitter we'll have our favorite absolute picks uh, Thursday night game Sunday morning Sunday night Monday night as well so join us there got one more bonus bet for you guys and that is a college football pick I like this one so much that I put it on here but a lot more college football bets in content on our Twitter if you subscribe but I love Nebraska minus 10. College football is usually sketchy. There's always upsets. You know, it's crazy. It's already been a pretty crazy season. But I love Nebraska minus 10 versus Purdue. Purdue looks like the worst. I'm actually going to say they are the worst power of four. It's power of four now team out there, you know, coming from the Big Ten. Uh, we saw them against Notre Dame. They gave up 66 points against them. And then because they look so bad against a Notre Dame team that really couldn't score and then just struggled against NIU the week before, I took a shot on against them last week, Purdue playing Oregon State, who got their ass beat the week before Oregon. And Oregon State easily covered that line. I thought that was too low. It was my Oregon State minus five. Nebraska is a good football team. Why this is at 10 is because maybe they don't really know how good Nebraska is yet fully and is Purdue this bad and also Nebraska is a little beat up we saw once they got beat up Rayola was getting pressured like crazy but that is against a stout Illinois defense it's a good team over there they always have a good defense they always have NFL players Purdue is brutal it's weird to see because I mean they haven't been great I guess recently but this is probably their worst team ever so Nebraska to me is going to cover this 10 I'd be surprised if they didn't but Again, college football could be weird, but there are some other picks that I do like. We'll talk about it on Twitter, but this this is one that stood out to me last week. I'm always I'm kind of keeping track of who's playing Purdue and what the line is right now because they're a bit of a mess. So uh, I had to throw a little bonus one on here, but I am more of an NFL guy. But those are my picks for this week. Again, excited about week four for the NFL because there's always sloppiness and randomness in the first three three weeks, and sometimes it carries over a little bit in week four, so I'm going to be really excited about next week. But, uh, yeah, things could start to be a little more predictable now. You can kind of go based off of X's and O's matchup, and I love that. That's my type of game there. Uh, so that will do it for this one. Again, check out all of our content for week four in every week. We got loads of it, but that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.